Halifax on Wednesday. That is Jack Connors replacing Jerome Binham Williams. In goal number one, Scott Loach, three, Jack Connors, six, skipper James Dunn, seven, Alexander McQueen, 14, Mohamedou Fall, 16, Harry Taylor, 17, making his Hive debut, Inni Effiong, 18, Wesley Fongak, 27, Efron Mason Clark, 31, Ben Nugent, and 40, Anthony Wordsworth. On the bench for the Bees, keeper 24, Eamon Azaz, 2, Dwight Pascal, 15, Bilal Mosny, 26, Jerome Binnan Williams, and 33, Andonis Vasiliou. The Stones, Dean Brennan, makes two changes from the side that lost late against Torquay United. In goal for them, number one, making his second appearance, Stuart Moore. Two, Michi Fete. Six, Jerome Como, their skipper. Seven, Michael Phillips. Eight, Connor Smith. Ten, Danny Green. Eleven, Denon Williams. Eighteen, Alex Dyer. Twenty-three, Charlie Wakefield. Twenty-four, Dean Parrott. And thirty-four, Jack Corley. On the bench for the Stones, 25, Jake Askew. Four, a former B in Ashley Charles. 12, Charlie Hughes. 15, Kundai Benyu. And 20, Jerome Slew. The match officials this afternoon, the referee, Matthew Russell. His assistants, Ayrton Hersey and Timothy Walker. And the fourth official is Lee Jessup. In the roar from the hive as Barnett step out first here with the... Iconic sounds of Sweet Child of Mine ringing around and fans on their feet clapping their players. They both sets, both fans and players know this is a big game for the Bees today. Absolutely, and this could be the difference. You really hope that the fans start on a positive front foot with the, with the players, really get behind them, try and spur them on, and hopefully the boys can reward them with a quick start, Aaron. But it's going to be got to use having the home fans as the advantage and not having away fans. It has started, the referee blows his whistle and we are back underway with fans at the Hive London. Wealdstone in blue and white. Barnett in amber and black. Bench Tuesday saw Jacob Mendy and Danny Parrish go off. Uh, as for the Bees, we had a bit of an update pre-match on the whereabouts of some of the players. But we'll come to those quickly as Lewis has slipped through. Looks to cross it in and it's fallen all the way. What a save that is! from Scott Loach. How on earth did he get his hand to that? The shot was from Dean Parrott and just that flailing right glove managed to keep it out. A good chance there for the, the visitors. Yeah, well worked by the Stones and it was a good save by Loachy. In fact, it was a magnificent save as he claims the ball in front of us, Aaron. What a save and that'll be the wake-up call for Barnett. Um, it was a good move by Wildstone. He got the ball down the left quickly, got it behind, got it round the back and the Wildstone man will probably feel he should have done better as we see the replay. Lewis does really well to cut it back in towards the Parrots. It's a great save. It's a superb save and that's, that's the difference with, you know, of course they've got height with Mohamed Fowl, Ben Nugent's made his way up, Any F. Young's not a small fella as well. Wordsworth with the left footed in swinger. Towards the far post, Nugent heads it back across, goal! And this is going to have to be hooked behind before Harry Taylor can almost get on the end of it. A man who's never scored in a Barnet shirt, made the most Barnet appearances of anyone out while they were on the pitch, and uh, he just quite couldn't quite get on his toe on it ahead of the Wheelstone man. But well, he came close in the Kings Lynn at home when he powered that effort towards goal, and that's it. Good play by Ben Nugent to get it to the back post, and Taylor inches away from making contact, which would have surely ended up in the net. Here we go, Wordsworth's corner again, in towards Effion, whose header is over the bar. That was a good chance. Effiong did all he could under a little bit of pressure from the Wheelstone man, but it, his head out goes over the bar. Yeah, it was a good corner. Two really good corners uh, from that side, and Effiong probably would have thought he would like to do better, get it on target, but this is good from Barney. Ben Nugent. Phillips. <laughs> uh, the back pass is loose, and Fonga can drive the ball forward. Here's Inni Effiong. A good chance for the Bees. He needs an option, or will he be able to get a shot away? His left footed shot is blocked by Corley and it will be a corner over on his left hand side now for the Bees turning defence into attack very quickly there yeah again good by Wes Von Gook he's driving at defenders bringing them towards him he made the space for Effiong ball was just a little bit too far left for Effiong but he did well to uh, cut inside and he's won us a corner and we'll be hoping that the delivery is as good as the previous ones will be an out swing up this time from Anthony Wordsworth it comes towards foul. He misses the header. Does it go out of play for another corner? Yes, it does. Again, another good, effective corner there, causing issues for the Wildstone back line, the makeshift Wildstone back line, we must add, with all their injuries. Wardsworth looking for an option in Amber and Black again. Ball it comes in towards Effiong. Benugin is there at the far post, and he just heads it over the bar. Four very good corners from the Bees. Four very good chances from four very good corners, Aaron. 
Barnett would have wanted to do better from one of them. Just looking at the replay now, was it a free header for Nugent? Just kind of lost his man and drifted in at the far post. He was coming in at speed. Right as well, Aaron. So much hard work went in behind the scenes to get ready for today. Absolutely. Here comes Innie Effiong driving into the box. His right foot is short. It's just going to deflect. Narrowly past the post. It had Stuart Moore scrambling. And it will be another corner for the Bees. And the fans are right up for this one. Yeah, this has been good for Barnett. Good spell of five minutes pressure. It would be nice for Peace Beadle's side to get a goal to cap it off. So it, they're worth trying, but not quite. One arm raised, looking for an option. In it comes. It drops, just just drops in the, in the centre of the box. And there was no one there in any shirt to deal with it. And now the clearance is... Hits a Barnet man and now Wildstone can bring the ball forward. It's Wakefield. McQueen to beat. Squares it across. Shot deflected. Just, Just wide. wide. It was Connor Smith who managed to get a shot towards goal, but the effort was deflected by a Barnet man and it will be a Wildstone corner. McQueen with the throw in towards Mason Clark. Wordsworth wins the second ball. Now Mason Clark can bring the ball across to the left-hand side. He needs an option. He needs a runner. Hasn't got any. He might go alone. Now from Mason Clark, his left-footed shot curls high and wide of Moore's goal, but attacking with intent, Adam. It's the one thing that Efron Mason Clark probably himself will admit he needs to work on his, his end product. That first breakthrough season, if you will, for him, he did find the net on more occasions. He struggled with it since the start of last season, but this is good. He gets his man. He did a similar thing at Halifax on Wednesday night, but Again, he's shot just over the well, over the crossbar and into the north stand. But that's what fans want to see, people getting at players. Side, looking towards Effion. Quite a long throw in. We haven't seen that before. And now Fowl does really well to set away Fonguk. Fonguk uses Efron Mason-Clark on the right-hand side. He's just going to drive at Akimo. A few step over his right-footed shot. He's blocked and loops into the thankful gloves of Stuart Moore. We got fans yet. Yeah. Here's Danny Green towards Lewis but Green receives it again Lewis now probably on the left side hand side it's going to drop for a wheelstone man Wakefield who's closed down excellently by Scott Loach Barnett just switched off there big save again by Loachy the ball fell kindly for him on the far side in fairness to the Barnett defence but they would have wanted to deal with it better it seems to be a lot of time when it comes down their sides Barnett they've, they've struggled to deal with it it's, it's, look there it falls kindly for him and Loach there to make the save. Loach there to make the save, but there was Osaida as well, as you said, narrowing down the uh, narrowing down the angle. Here is the corner kick in towards the centre, and it's all gone all the way through, everyone. And it was Fute who put to get on the end of it. I'd like to see the, the replay there, Aaron. I'm not sure how he's not scored if he's the one that's made contact. He's kind of fallen away, and he's falling backwards. He's tried to get his back of his heel onto it initially let's have a look at that again yeah he's tried to back heel it in he, he's claiming for a foul I think yeah, he goes on a bit of a mazy run here and now he's going to try and play it across to Ephraim Mason Clark who does get on the end of the ball now going to drive at goal Ephraim Mason Clark slips his man Akimo is short his effort Fong there's defending Effiong it's a goal well scrambled the ball is loose still, still no shot McQueen it's a goal and he's given a has he given a foul there's a head injury here. The goal's going to be disallowed. Has he given the goal? I think he's disallowed it as there's a head injury for Stuart Moore. He let that play far too long. Otherwise, did uh, Matthew Russell. Moore was down for a while, but the referee certainly didn't spot the fact it was a head injury. There's going to be one minute at a time, but there's a bit of controversy here as Barnett did have the ball in the net is there actually a head injury here it's hard to tell by that angle it looks like he's just gone down holding his head to try and stop play potentially we couldn't quite make it out from the angle we had this might show it more as Efron Mason Clark kind of switches his man Akimo Moore makes the initial save Fungut follows in the ball's still not cleared ah uh, yeah there's a little yeah Effiong does connect with the face of Moore there as he's gone to shoot it's a very brave goalkeeper from the referee. Getting the pelters from the fans. And there will be booze at half-time. But that's not for the Barnet performance. They've had a good showing this first half. 
but at the break, it is Barnet FC nil, Wealdstone nil. Come again with Parrot. Right footed cross in towards Akimo. Can't quite get his head on it. Now there's a chance for the beats to break with Mohamedou Fowl. Driving down the left hand side. He's got Efron Mason Clark if he can pick him out. James Dunn is also busting a gut to get into the box. Mohamedou Fowl has he done too much? Cuts back. Chance to open up for the shot. His shot is blocked. We also can't quite clear the lines. And Fowl is a judge to have fouled Michi Afete there. But that was a golden counter attack there from the Bees. But they couldn't quite make it just count. took a little which is clearance is up towards Efron Mason Clark but he's got Corley behind him who wins the header now Efron Mason Clark can bring the ball under control very clever from him McQueen first time cross right footed in towards Effiong who's diving header goes over the bar what a great opportunity that was what a chance Aaron the Barnet fans sound their appreciation, but they really should have been roaring an opening goal here at the High of London. What a chance it was for any Effiong. It's a great ball into the box by McQueen. Effiong's done all the hard part to peel off his man, but the header over the crossbar. Guilt edge chance there for Barnet. It's a half. It's, it's a difficult. It's a hard chance on the on the stretch on the diving header to try and keep that down. Maybe he's just stretching a little bit too much. You know, we obviously we had a nil-nil here against Hartlepool, which wasn't quite as entertaining as this one. Done to McQueen now. Barnett looking for that opening goal. Dunn will cross this in, right-footed. It goes straight to Akimo. Wordsworth out to Fonguk. Beats his man, left-footed shot is blocked. Drops to Mason Clark. Now trying to get a shot away. Mason Clark, left-footed shot is just past the post. What an effort that was from Efron Mason Clark. Did well to get, make himself a little bit of space. And his effort certainly had more on the stretch. Just a few inches past that post. Yeah, this is better from the Bees. They're starting to get on top here in terms of the chances. Mason Clark, when you just thought he might lay it back to Wordsworth, he turns and hits it. And it's all just over the crossbar. Try and get the ball into the box with this throw in. Akimo, his cross is blocked and then it strikes the Wheelstone skipper, but he keeps it in play. Dyer in field. Here is a substitute with a left footed shot, and it's an excellent save on the stretch from Scott Loach. The effort from Jerome Slew had the B number, B's number one scrambling, but does well to get across quickly. Someone who hasn't been called into action too much, but when he has, he's been effective. Yeah, it's a good stop by Lochi. It was certainly creeping into that corner. Dyer's corner is into the mixer. Phillips tries to get on the end of it, but Mason Clark can clear. And as far as Smith, whose first time effort is poor, and it goes straight to Mason Clark, who uh, offloads it to any Effiong driving a goal. He's got Antonis Vasilou for company. Cuts back onto his left foot. Almost fouled left foot. A shot deflected. Past the post. Almost creeping into that top corner of Stuart Moore's goal. But that was turning defence into attack effectively there and a good chance for the Bees goes begging. Yeah, absolutely. He, he either had to go first time, did he, the Fion to Vasilio at the back post or do what he did and try and work some space for a shot. It's well blocked and just goes wide and the chance now for Barnett to, to poke themselves ahead as we enter the latter stages. Wordsworth's corners towards Nugent. He gets his head onto it. Calls of a handball. Efron Mason Clark. The ball's still not clear. It's going to be put back into the box by Ben Nugent left footed cross is in towards Effiong who's got an arm all round his neck James Dunn brings the ball down to Harry Taylor fakes to go one way and then goes the other here's Ben Nugent crosses in towards Mason Clark headed away by Phillips drops to Vasilou Vasilou out to Wordsworth has got to get a left footed shot but Phillips is quickly across to block this is more like it from Barnett now is the time for Barnett to start mounting some pressure Aaron and this is where the crowd helped um, because they're getting right behind them now. Absolutely, Wordsworth. It's been so dangerous from these corner kicks. Left footed again, in swinger. Effie Young's under it, diving header. It just hits Mason Clark on the line, does it? No, it's gone out of play for another corner kick over on that far side. Effie Young's header. I mean, it's up towards Wordsworth. He gets his head on it. Dyer tries to play it through to Lewis, but it's just going to run through to Loach who plays it out quickly, but the referee is going to blow for full time. A frustrating afternoon after a good 90 minutes of football, end-to-end -end game. 
but it has finished. Go 